The Galaxy S25 may feature a completely different appearance compared to both the S24 and previous models. A fresh rumor claims that Samsung is in the process of making significant design changes in the Galaxy S25 Ultra. If you don't like the Galaxy S24 Ultra design, you can wait for S25 Ultra. A prolific tipster Revegnus suggests that the Galaxy S25 series, likely coming in 2025, will have notable design changes. This new rumor suggests that Hubert H. Lee, who used to design for Mercedes-Benz, is now working on giving Samsung Galaxy a whole new look, starting with the Galaxy S25. There are some details already available about the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 application processor from Qualcomm, set to be announced later this year, possibly in October. It's expected to be the powerhouse behind devices like the Galaxy S25 Ultra, although it's a bit mind-boggling to think about this since the Galaxy S24 Ultra just came out yesterday. Additionally, the new AP will feature Qualcomm's own CPU cores replacing the Cortex cores from ARM Holdings. We expect that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, codenamed Tongzi, won't have any low-power efficiency cores. Instead, it will have two powerful Phoenix CPU cores and six medium-performance Phoenix CPU cores. A tipster named Digital Chat Station mentioned on his Weibo account that the chip could reach speeds of 4 GHz. Although he didn't specify which cores would reach this speed, it's likely to be the two powerful Phoenix cores. The 4 GHz clock speed would be faster than the peak 3.3 GHz of the Cortex X4 Prime CPU core. According to the latest rumors, a Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 SOC will have the Adreno 830 GPU. It will be manufactured by TSMC using its 3M process node and is expected to achieve an impressive multi-core Geekbench 6 score of 10,628. This is much higher than the 7249 multi-core score of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. When it comes to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset, it's configured with a Cortex, X4 Prime CPU Core, 5 Cortex, a 720 performance CPU cores, and 2 Cortex, a 520 efficiency CPU cores. Looking ahead to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, we anticipate a change in this setup. An extra high-performance core will likely be added, and the two low-power cores will be swapped out for two more medium-performance cores. There's speculation that next year, Qualcomm might divide the production of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 between TSMC and Samsung Foundry. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is also expected to come with 16 gigs of RAM. Additionally, there are suggestions that it may offer two storage options, a feature that was initially anticipated for the S24 Ultra. Are you excited for Galaxy S25 Ultra? That's it for today. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.